Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 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 Bismillah ar-R
they lost all their social skills because they're behind a computer, they're typing all day long. And they type and type and type every type of insanity, every type of craziness. And Allah said, your fingers are going to talk and to testify to me. Even they text with their thumb and SubhanAllah how in the realities of the hand your identity and Divinely Presence is on your thumb. Allah says, we'll bring you back to life all the way to the imprint of your thumb. It carries a reality of, of who you are, your code like a barcode in the grocery store, your barcode is on your thumb. Allah is going to bring you back exactly to who you are even to the point of your barcode will be exact, your thumb. Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. Knowledge quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Allah, Allah is going to be asking these hands, there must be something of a tremendous reality. And they begin to teach us that actually your hand is the ambassador of your being. Before I can get to meet you, I'm going to meet your hand. So it extends itself to introduce you. So then it has a tremendous reality that it's an ambassador of your reality. They can tell the condition of your heart by the light emanating from your hand. So it means the hand will show the condition of the heart. If the heart is dark and the heart filled with hypocrisy, and the heart filled with bad characteristics, you find those hands not to be good hands. They hit, they beat, they do all sorts of aggressive actions. It's a reflection of this condition because there's nobody with a good heart doing horrible things with their hand. So our life is to build the light and the reality of the heart so that it begins to reflect to the, re to the reality of the hand.
Well Allah describes that on the day of resurrection you'll see the believing people and a light will be emanating from their right hand out. And Allah stresses the importance of tabarakalladhi bi yadihi mulk. Now they begin to make us to contemplate that my tabarak is upon their hand because it carries a mulk and a sovereignty from Allah means that what I am bestowing upon that heart which is now reflecting to its ambassador the hand, it has tremendous tabarak. But the real reflection of the hand of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad is the reflection of Allah All the might and majesty and Allah Subhan upon the hand of Prophet upon the hand of all the Prophets. And that's why you take bayah. Ya Rabbi, I want my hand on your hand. Then take the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad All my glory, all my mulk, all my power, all my, my kingdoms are upon the power of that hand. So means the hands of those whom their hearts are open, not like normal hands. That Allah is describing that we bestow upon them an authority, they have an authority in the mulk of this physical world but you may not see it or sense it. And in my Divinely Kingdom of Malakut they have a tremendous authority and from them lights are emanating, from their entire being lights are emanating. We call Prophet the, the Sultan of Thaqalain, the, the, the Sultan of the two realities, two hands, one for mulk and one for malakut. We recite Surat al-Mulk at Zohr and Surat al-Mulk at Salat al-Isha. Why? For mulk wa malakut, for the physical domain and the spiritual domain. So the two mulks, that your child may be eligible to receive up to $10,000 in government grants to pay for his or her post-secondary education? My name is Sikandar Hayat. I am here to help you. Call today for a free consultation. Almost 150,000 Canadians a year will use a homeless shelter. These people need food, clothing and access to basic hygiene. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping the underprivileged in Canada. Along with our active support for recent immigrants and refugees, one of our ongoing initiatives is to feed and clothe the homeless. For more than a decade, we have provided hundreds of thousands of hot meals to some of the most vulnerable and needy. We continue these efforts with several monthly initiatives.
for more information or to donate, please visit our website, nurmuhammad.com. They begin to teach that that right hand brings a nur and a rahmah and the codes upon the right hand is a one and an eight. The line is a one and an eight. For those who recite the Lala Khirat, they recite the 99 names of Allah and 201 names of Sayyidina Muhammad And they understood and they know from their shaykhs that every Ismullah has to have an Isma Rasul to open. Allah doesn't want to hear from me and you without going to Prophet That Rahmah to open, that mercy to open means everything is coded upon him. It's not something simple, not something small. When that reality wants to open means they begin to teach and train us that as you are perfecting your heart and cleaning your heart, these lights will begin to emanate upon your hand. That's why in your salah Allah wants your right hand to hold your left hand. That your malakut has to govern your mulk and your physicality. The attributes that govern your soul and your reality has to take control of that which governs your physicality. So means these sifats are dressing and controlling our being. When they understood and they opened their heart means they bring a light, a light emanates from their hand from Allah and wherever their hand moves, that light is emanating. And that's why those whom have permission for healing, their hands are ignited. And in this day and age they don't touch because they don't want to become sick. But the light and fata rahmah, these are the lights of mercy emanate from their right hand. It comes from the heavens onto this earth. Guidance is given to you by the iron within your body. Every creation and creature has guidance from iron. Their iron picks up the energy. With the iron is, a, is our natural GPS system. So the birds how they fly, how they know where the earth is and where the ocean is, where their destination is. The iron within their body is what Allah sends a qudra and nazma to it. The energy that coming to that, it gives its coordinates and its guidance. If your iron is imperfected and the iron within your body is not clean, your entire guidance system goes off. There's a molten iron in the core of the earth. Based on that iron, there's an energy field around this earth. But from ourselves, we are a reflection from that earth. And Allah is showing that that guidance and that light will be emanating from your being. The son of all realities is Sayyidina Muhammad You cannot be a son but Allah made us to be Qamarun. You can't be a moon if you reach the reality of your heart. You have 15 lines on this hand, five fingers, three lines. Right hand is nur, means then the 15 days of the month, the first 15 days they are nurani. These are the 15 days in which the moon is being dressed as it's approaching towards its reality. The moon is born 
and beginning to move towards the reality of the sun means 15 days of nur and light is reaching towards its perfection and that's why the full moon is the sign of perfection. So every time they making zikr they're asking, Ya Rabbi bless these realities. Make every day of these 15 days to be filled with noon. Then you make another five fingers has another three lines and this is 15 days of the waning moon. Means after the moon reaches its perfection it's now in the phase of death. Everything is born and everything dies, everything. We have a day and we have a night. Everything has a cycle of its birth and its death. From the planets to the our being on this earth to all the flowers and everything that we see around us. who knows himself, will know his Lord is not something small, it's an ocean that can continue to keep opening. So when Allah wants you to know is heaven the kingdom and begin to teach you about yourself. Ya Rabbi what have you dressed me with? We stamped him with names every time you're making wudu. What kind of codes are you opening upon this reality? You're opening Fatah Rahmah. You're opening all the realities of light upon the right hand. You're opening all the realities of these 15 days of light to reach the perfection of the full moon. So it means on, on the 15th day those lights are strongest upon their hand because they are the reflection of what you see in the heavens. They are walking moons upon the earth. The, the moon represents the people of annihilation. These are the people of tafakkur and contemplation, the people of realities. Means that they open their heart, as they begin to open their heart Allah begin to dress them. That from the holy hadith that they did the fard, they're approaching through their sunnah, I become the eyes in which they see, I become the ears in which they hear. Each of them has a reality. I become the breath in which they breathe, I become the mouth in which they speak, I become the hands in which they touch, means my, yad, my power upon their hands. How that going to come? Is by the heart to be open, the lights of the heart to be open, all the bad characteristics to be brought down so that these realities can begin to emanate from the holy hands. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from these holy nights and begin to open from these realities more and more upon our hearts. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata amma yaseefoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatih. Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. The only amal has no judgment is muhabbat. Allah no way, no way to judge love. Because love can be small and love can be great. And even the grain of a mustard seed, Allah will count that love that spread my love into these lands.
spread the love of Sayyidina Muhammad into these lands. That don't stay quiet and say no maulid and no spreading of love. If we stay quiet, the zulumat is spreading. Allah. It's a time for us to awaken. We raise the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad and we say we are Ashiqeen and no way to stop Ashiqeen.